This video isn't brought to you by anyone. Woo! Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm 1000. I'm an artist from Southwest Michigan. Welcome to the channel. How y'all doing? Thanks for kicking it. Woo! Today I've got a special announcement for the fans and the followers and the subscribers. This is for the fans and this is for the followers. This is for the followers. Now back to the fans. <laughs> well, you know how I've done a couple videos in the past where I do a YouTube art prompt? I give out a prompt. I say, hey, you guys, send me some of your art and make that art around the prompt that I give while it's back. The prompt is back. So I want you guys to send me some art around the prompt of Ooh, I probably should have thought of this before I started recording. <laughs> Five minutes later. The prompt will be reaching new heights. Think about that prompt, reaching new heights. What does that mean to you? You can make a piece of art, you can make a poem, you can make a song, you can do photography, whatever your creative medium is, video, whatever, whatever, whatever. Reaching new heights is the prompt. Now, please send your submissions to team10hun at gmail.com. Team10hun at gmail.com. That's where you send them. I need all your submissions by October 1st. And let's make this one a little bit interesting. I think this time around, for the very first time ever, I'm gonna select my very, very favorite out of all the art submissions, and I'm gonna send the winner $500. $500 as a grand prize this time. So get to sketching. Some of the things that I'm gonna take into consideration when choosing my favorite is just like the overall artistic value, the creativity, and how well you stuck to the prompt. A lot of times people just send me in random pieces of art that don't necessarily have a whole lot to do with the prompt. They're just like, well, I'm gonna show 10 hundred some of my art. <laughs> but try to stick with the prompt, reaching new heights. Yeah, this is gonna be exciting. I need the art by October 1st. I'm gonna make a video. I'm gonna review some of the art, give my thoughts, check out what you guys got going on. Another thing is, these videos take me like forever to edit like super duper long and one of the things that takes the longest is I try to like shout out every single person's Instagram so I look in the email find their Instagram type it out in Adobe Premiere and that whole process of like actually superimposing your Instagram over your art in the video editing software is surprisingly one of the things that takes me the longest so if you want an Instagram shout out on your art I want you to superimpose your Instagram tag in the like bottom left corner of the piece or the bottom right corner corner of the piece just so that it saves me a step so that I don't have to do that or you can put your Twitter or your I don't know what what do you whatever you want to have shouted out like just superimpose that on the bottom right or left hand corner of the artwork because that will literally save me like hours and hours <laughs> it's so shocking how long these videos take but it's also like super duper fun for me to check out how creative this community is and see all the amazing artists that are part of this crazy YouTube community so many of you are so talented and I love seeing what you do it always inspires me and pumps me up and like gets me hyped to make art myself just because of how dope and talented this community is. So send your art in, need it by October 1st, reaching new heights, team 10 hunt at gmail.com. But this video is a little bit boring right now. It's just an announcement. So I actually went to my PO box today and there was a handful of packages in there that were from like fans or whatever. So let's uh, close this video out by just doing like a PO box package open extravaganza <laughs> here we go five minutes later all right first one something just fell on the ground it's like a little golden envelope <laughs> two ten hundred this is so cool oh there's a lot of words on here <laughs> hey ten hun my name is mary does it say mary or may my name is mary and i'm 16 and i live in indiana so hello neighbor you really inspire me in my art i'm really not sure what i want to do in life i would love to do art but i'm not sure how to make a living off of it and i really don't want to go to college <laughs> i feel that anyway i started watching your channel a few months ago and fell in love with your style of art and the energy you bring Bring into it. My art didn't really start until about three years ago, and ever since I've been practicing all the time. Yes, go Mary. <laughs> the ironic bit is that back in grade school, I always hated art class and wondered why they would make me do it. See, I never had that problem. I always took lots of art classes just so that my GPA would go up. It was all the other classes that I hated. <laughs> anyway, I painted this portrait of you on a paint palette. By the way, not my idea. Meredith Elizabeth on YouTube. I haven't heard of Meredith. I'll have to check her out. Out. I really hope you enjoy it. If you would like to see more of my art, I do have an art Instagram. I'm underscore Mary underscore this underscore is underscore my underscore art. <laughs> also, say hi to Chelsea for me. Hi, Chelsea. 
She's right there. Love Mary. So this is what Mary made. This is so sick. It's a paint palette. It's got like a portrait of me <laughs> doing this. Mm, scrunch your face up. This is so sick, Mary. I love it. It's so dope. Look at that. That's crazy. Super vibrant colors. I will uh, definitely use this as my paint palette. Just kidding. <laughs> I love it. It's awesome. Thank you so much. Dang. Next package. <laughs> This is fun. Next package. Ooh, looks like this is from Lost Lion Art. Get out of there. There's some t-shirts here, but there's also like some masks. These are super cool. The problem with masks and wearing glasses is that they always fog up. So I'm always walking through this store with like super fogged up glasses. It's the worst. But we got some sick looking t-shirts. Oh, this is a size small. Chelsea, this is for you. Cause we know I'm not fitting in a small. Thank you. At Lost Lion Art. Sick. Ooh. Super That's sick. Me? Super sick. Super nice. duper duper sick. And then this one is my size. This one's a 2XL. That's dope. That's so dope. Hex, yes. Super sick. Crazy like Baboon King. Yeah. Lost Lion. Hey, hey. What up? What up? What up? Do I look cool? What up? What up? <laughs> Thank you so much for the t shirts. Ooh. Next one, Dearest Ten Hun. I have recently found your YouTube channel and have been watching every episode ever since. Thank you. <laughs> your artwork is sick and inspiring. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One aspect of your artwork I love the most is your signature. It is sharp, clean, and downright awesome. I've been collecting baseball signed by baseball players for years now. I would love if you'd be able to sign my baseball and send it back to me. I've also sent another baseball for you to keep or paint in addition, and a Disneyland trash can salt shaker. Disneyland is one of my favorite places and I think it would be a cool video if you made your own custom trash can design. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I really hope you turn either the trash can or baseball into a video. If you could please sign these pieces of paper also and paint. Um, so he sent me a couple of pieces of paper to sign. I don't know if I'll be doing that because I've been dealing with a lot of people bootlegging my stuff lately <laughs> and just signing a piece of paper and sending it to someone makes me feel like it could be scanned and printed, um, but I will sign the baseball. <laughs> I don't know, man. You guys should see all the fake 1000 merch I've been coming across. It's really, really, really bizarre. But even that like Fiverr coloring book that I gave away for free to you guys, somebody is selling that on Amazon. Even though it's free on my website, they've like downloaded it and they're selling it on Amazon. And it's like, they're pretending like it's their own artwork and it's like, bummer. So Tyler, I won't be signing those pieces of paper, but here's the baseball. I'll definitely sign that. He sent a return label, so I don't even have to pay to ship it back to him. Oh, it's a literal trash can from Disneyland, like the trash cans that they have at their parks. It's got a little chip in it, uh, but this is cool. If you're like super into Disneyland, I'm sure that you're very familiar with the trash cans as well. So they've even found a way to merchandise that. So thank you so much for this. Maybe I will do a little custom tiny trash can salt shaker because <laughs> it's weird and I like weird stuff. So thank you so much, Tyler. Appreciate that. Definitely one of the stranger packages I've gotten in the P.O. box. Next up. We have got this cool little original sketch. It looks like there's a note on the inside of it. Hey, Ten Hun, I just wanted to give you a little gift to add to your collection. I'm digging the bonus stickers I get in my t-shirt of the month subscription and wanted to return the love. I also love the YouTube channel and your constant output of content. It's driven me to put out more art content as well. You're a huge inspiration to myself and a lot of other artists out there. Thanks for being awesome, Anthony. Instagram is at Anthony Moreno Art. Sent me some stickers too. It's like these super sick lip stickers. You heard of lipstick? Well, these are lip stickers. Next, let's see what we have in here. Boom, boom. Thank you for all the beautiful videos and Patreon posts. Oh, this is from one of my patrons. Nada, Nada Serafimovic. Sent me a cute little Halloween sticker sheet and this original ink drawing. Super cool. Dang, there's so much going on in there. So much detail. Awesome line work. Love the black and white vibes. Yeah, that's an real, that's a real not a Serfavivamovic original. I said your last name so wrong. Thank you so much. This is really awesome. Thanks, Nada. Really, really appreciate it. Dope. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Sick. I like the uh, electric green tape. That's sick. Mm, electric green. Ooh. 
Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, Ten Hun. Saw your lovely doggo on one of your videos and couldn't not draw him. Peace and love at Grainy Grooves. I think that says Grainy Grooves. That's like a big fat marker and it's kind of hard for me to read it. Grainy Grooves. Look at that, son. That's Georgie right there. What? That's so sick. Oh my goodness, the details. Remember that time I drew Georgie and I was complaining about it, drawing his fur? And then <laughs> this is like 50,000 times crazier than that. That's so sick. Oh my gosh, it's all framed and matted and everything. This is gonna go. Hanging that up. Yeah, this is gonna go in a place of honor in our house. That's oh so my dope. Goodness, my boy. I'm trying to not get all my lights in the reflection. <laughs> Get out of here, lights. Dang it. How sick is that? That's so crazy. Granny Grooves. Dang, go follow that person, y'all, because this is insane. Georgie looks so cute. Georgie, where's Georgie at? He's upstairs. I was gonna I was gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison, but he's hanging out upstairs. Wow, that is so cool. One more box here, and oh, this is a ton more paint from Angelus. I guess, you know, Angelus Paints is the leather paint company. They must've saw my last Air Jordan video. We'll open that later. Maybe the next time I paint some shoes or a freaking Louis Vuitton bag or whatever leather thing I do next. Thank you guys so much for sending me all that stuff. That's super crazy cool. Yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys make for that art prompt. It's gonna be really, really rad to check out all the different art that you guys make. Please check out the description below. There's gonna be like more little details. Like for instance, don't send me big Photoshop files or design files or Google Drive link files. Just like attach decent sized JPEGs to emails to just make my life easy. <laughs> but all that will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my website, 1000art.com to check out some of my merchandise, t-shirts, hats, hoodies, long sleeves, sweaters, whatever, whatever, free shipping in the US say international shipping is available and thank you so 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 much to my patrons you guys support me on a monthly basis and you're the coolest people on the internet we got a super awesome big crazy family over there on patreon thank you guys so much for supporting me i really really appreciate you Woo! i'm 10 100 thank you guys so much for watching this weird video back to our regular scheduled content very very soon we're actually like almost done with the next video and it's going to be a big crazy art production so Thank you guys for checking out this little update video. I'm 1000. Peace out. I'll catch you on the next one. Mm, goodbye. Well, it's the end of the video and it's time for the random comment shout out. This one comes from Fuga. Fuga says, I have a question. Do you print this design using heat press, DTG, or silk screen? He's talking about my t-shirt video. And the answer to that question is that my t-shirts are printed with silk screen. They are screen printed t-shirts. I find that screen printing your t-shirts holds up for a really long time, even after multiple washes. And sometimes with the heat press and the DTG, they have a weird kind of feel to them and they start doing that flame thing over time. It's one of the biggest reasons why I don't do drop shipping. I order my merch in bulk from screen printers and send it out to you guys. Trying to maintain that quality. So I do the silk screen shirts. Thanks for the awesome comment, Fuga. Shout out to you. Hope you're having an awesome and creative day. Thanks for watching and yeah, peace out y'all. <laughs>